What is up, guys? I'm Zaf. I'm Rob. And I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Terry, come back at you with the Peaky Blinders Season 5, Episode 6. This one's called Mr. Jones. Um, before I go into the intro, though, obviously, I don't know if you can really tell about a new background, but we do have a new background. We don't have all the Funkas and everything. They're actually in front of us, sitting underneath the TV, so... That's pretty cool. You can't see them, but we still have them with us. We much appreciate it. But yeah, we're in our new place, in our new home, and we're loving it. And this is our first video actually recorded here, so that's cool. Also, we don't have our current lights that we use to make ourselves brighter and the quality to look better. But those will be coming in very shortly, maybe even the next video you see. But yeah, we're excited. And this is the finale of season five. We only have one more season after this. Uh, and this one's called Mr. Jones. Do we know a Mr. Jones? I don't know a Mr. Jones. I don't think we know a Mr. Jones, so I'm interested to see what that means. But yeah, this is this is heating up. We were introduced to Barney last episode. He's another one of Tommy's old war buddies. We've met a lot of them throughout the course of the show, and Barney is the newest addition to that crew. Unfortunately, he 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 was at least locked up in like a mental hospital, and. He had he was never getting out they were never gonna let him go and tommy came up with this plan to bust him out because he wants barney to kill mosley he wants him to be the one to do the job and apparently barney was like a really great sniper so i think that's what the plan is is to take out mosley via sniper via barney and uh i'm excited to see it i i do not like mosley he's an entertaining villain but such a slimy guy can't wait to see him out of here yeah i mean the beginning of last episode was a crazy scene making sure linda didn't die she only got shot in the shoulder we found out so she definitely survived pretty easily but they saved her uh helped her out and then she just kind of shit on arthur and was like i'm not gonna like she just left him like i'm, I'm probably not gonna see you ever again uh and that kind of drove arthur to go off the rails they had that mission to get the the opium at Chang's and then they got set up by some like Irish uh, IRA people I believe and Arthur was just mowing down with that gun that was absolutely crazy to see he's kind of off the deep end right now but I do selfishly kind of like seeing him like that it just makes for a fun uh, scene and then also to um, bring this up last episode Ben Younger also died. He got blown up in that car accident with the, the bomb planted there. So RIP to him. Feel bad for Ada. But uh, yeah, I am pumped to see how season five ends. If you guys like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We are getting very close to 200k, so make sure you slap that sub button. Check out our links in the description. We got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias. And yeah, we're going to go right into season five, episode six of Peaky Blinders. Mr. Jones, let's go. Who's this? Mr. Jones. Winston Churchill. Whoa. That subtitle spoiled a little bit, I think. Churchill. And always happy to give smart answers to men born better than you. Is this like the third actor they've had play Winston Churchill? <laughs> Maybe. Be beautifully in the house. Thank you. And believe not a word of what you are. <laughs> Conviction introduces emotion, which is the enemy of oratory. This guy has unreal makeup on. Who? Yeah. Winston. Look, that's not his face. Amongst the worst people in Whitehall, and I found out that you are not forming an alliance with him at all. <laughs> Correct. What is your strategy? I won't burn you with it. You're going to break the law. <laughs> we are in the same exact situation here in Westminster. Damn, Churchill loves Tommy. What you have He's to like, do Tommy, you're doing the dirty work for me. He respects him. And if you need anything, call me. That's sick. What did you who killed that outstanding intelligence? Younger, no way. I forget his name. Major Campbell. Oh, Campbell. Campbell. No. It was me aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Must come up to Birmingham someday and you spend must. the evening with your family. Yes. They sound interesting. <laughs> that was me, Aunt. He's a good man. Yeah, I know that. Mm. You're coming up in the world, I like. 
This guy definitely is so uncomfortable around Arthur. Yeah. Women <laughs> I hope so for your sake, brother. Dude, I'd be shitting if yeah. I was him. From now on, Abraham will be welcome at our meetings. Do you think Abraham is gonna make it this season? Uh, yeah, he doesn't have to. Huh? Like he doesn't. He's not like that necessary to make it. So I could see him not. Tommy. There's something I'd like to say to the whole family directly. Why? Finances and the future of this company. According to your own estimations, he keeps showing her. The delivery and shipment of opium. Will be Tommy looks confused. Please can wait outside the family meeting. Be structured in what way? Because of the amounts of money oh. involved. Gina, not your place. Boston, who I've already spoken to about this, and Gina has family who are very experienced in this kind of business. I don't trust it at all. Uh -uh. Her animal. Enough money for you to all enjoy when you all not feel. I mean, it sounds kind of decent. Yeah, he definitely practiced this speech a couple times. For sure. Not on the outside. And as a member of the new generation, it sounds really good. I'm able to take. When he lost all of their money on the stock market. A new decade is coming. There'll be new opportunities and new territories. More money than we've ever had before. I just, I'm just still in the, the... I'm just in the group of people that just like, just just do what Tommy says, man. He just always knows best. Live in that big house. Arthur, you can be the man that Linda wants you to be. For Linda. Oh. <laughs> they ever spoke? You've proved yourself. You're part of the new. Here is my proposal. I don't like her look she's given Tommy. I really <laughs> don't like it. She gives the weird looks and the mad looks. And you can be non executive chairman, but under an assumed name to protect your reputation. What? I'm a dead man. You will be registered as Mr. Jones. What is this? Take a look at the future, Tommy. Mm. At least read it with an open mind. I mean, they're hearing him out though. Like they don't hate it at all. But he's pretty much saying, "Tommy, you're not gonna do anything for this company." I feel like Tommy's just gonna be oh, like, man. "Nope." Yep. Oh. Exactly. Tommy, yep. With me. Item number three. Tell the truth. Tommy doesn't give a fuck about this. Gone. He can take it. The truth. The Americans don't want to deal with an old-fashioned backstreet Tommy, he's bitten through the fucking rope. What? Cornered, but they need help. Barney on, bit in. through the rope? Hey. Hey, yo! I'm doing this for you, Tommy. I mean, you're not doing anything if he doesn't say you can. What happened there? Did he just block all of that glass? Succession. I gave you an opportunity, Michael. You betrayed me. Don't be here when I get back. Damn. You can tell your family. Let me guess. Don't fuck with the Peaky Blinders. Precisely. Right? There's a reason for that. Michael. There's a reason for that. Is Paul cool with this? <laughs> that, answers answer. that, that answers your question. It does. <laughs> Betrayed the family. Went well, guys. Doing all this for a girl who has associations with Oswald Mosley. They're going to be forced into the second option? What the fuck is that? Overtake the company? And we're organizing this demonstration. Why would you be, Tom? Right next to him. 
I'll be down on one knee, cradling his head while the laugh drains from him. <laughs> and I'll make a speech. And he will take over. Now the cause he died for must continue. Continue so for my hands. And then Tommy's gonna shut that shit down. Or just change it up. Jimmy McGovern will be running security at this event. Oh, yep. Be in the wings. Uh oh. It's your turn. What's up? I went to London, Nick. I feel like they're gonna fuck him up. I know. I knew I was coming. That, that's the shootout that they had. They even know. Do they think he's the rat? Maybe. Maybe they know something we don't. Four days ago. If Mickey's the rat, I'm like that's silly. Mickey's known to be a mouse. Has he been betraying? I don't want to believe that. It feels like a random person to make the the black cat. I called Mickey before the explosion. That was your number. Mickey. Look at him. We know you. You've been giving the Titanic boys information as well. Oh, Mickey. Come on. It actually looks like Tommy has the, the hat on right now. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, he looks like he's been caught, right? Yeah, <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's talking to Jesus. Oh, sorry, Mr. Shelby. Admission. Sorry is not going to cut it. Oh, God. I oh, he's going to shoot him in the head. Oh. Oh, crazy man. Dad. That is crat. Mickey? What is crat? <laughs> that was crazy. How did crat come <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> oh my. What? Did you figure that view, right? He's back? Is he hearing him? In his head? Oh. Oh. He's alive. How? He got shot in the face. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Did you know that I was not dead? You wrote me a letter, Alfie. Did I? I'm not your dog. I gave me a lot of drugs at first. It looks a lot like my game. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I hope you do a better job on him than the one you've done on me. <laughs> I hear you still have some standing in the Jewish community. Did he call him here? All right, we were a big black horse, and you said goodbye, and then bang. Right, yeah. well, what does that mean? Didn't he actually do that? At the beginning of the season, got that horse and his kid was mad at him. He did shoot the horse, yeah. Maybe he's got that ability, like the K drama we watched. There will be a war, and one of you will die. But which one I cannot tell. I mean, Paul is always predicting the right thing, right? Michael's dead. I'll do it anyway. Yeah. You should know. If Abarama takes his side, I will kill him. Maybe that's why they were showing Abarama. Because he does have loyalty to Polly. I don't want to have to do, Paul. I'll kill you, Aunt Paul. Millions of people will listen to you. She's losing her mind. What? what? Country like Not at all. It appears to be what people <clears throat> But not me. Not anymore. My resignation. Damn. 
Without the company? I mean, like, what is the company without these people, though? It's just gonna be Tommy and Arthur. And no, Michael Brains. But Tommy Brains are the best. Yeah, we don't need Michael Brains, bro. He's, he's just, just a good he's mathematician. Just, he's just a backup for Tommy. She just stepped into the canal. She killed herself. Well, she seemed happy for a bit watching you ride it. Tommy just misses his mom. Is he always in love with her, Tom? Damn, Charlie, this is the most you've ever talked. That is a horrible story. Oh my god, it's in the family. He's gonna go to America. I feel like this is gonna be a bad shot, first one. He's nailing it. Boom. No scope needed. Yep. Okay, never mind. That's probably the only thing he can do. <laughs> he said he never missed. He's never missed. Even like the posters of Oswald Mosey, I'm like, that just looks not good. Oh, okay. okay. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. I mean, yeah, he those is look like a Nazi. Yeah. So he hates Jewish people. And he, we knew he hated Jews. Yeah, but so that's that's why they're bringing. That's why Tommy called Alfie. Alfie. Because there's a good explanation as to why they would have a rally here. Just tonight, you're gonna do what? Moses in town. Really? What? Uh, what's gonna happen with this dude? Is he gonna betray? He, well, first of all, Finn just told about personal business. Did he? Yeah, he said they're gonna go shoot the fascist. Oh, and he's making a call. Dude. Bro, did Finn just fuck this all up? Avaram is not gonna betray Tom. I don't know, dude. Paul just resigned. I don't think Avarama has too many ties besides Polly. Polly just resigned too. You run like fuck. I'm stopping. I run like fuck. Got it. Someone watch over him. Strategy. We always have a strategy. I'm just pissed because Finn fucked it all up and told that guy and now he's gonna call somebody and now this isn't gonna happen. Why? What's going to happen? I really like this camera for some reason, how they're doing it. Just go on. Tommy's always the rider. Abarama? Fool. To the... Trouble. So I just, I need to hear Abarama be like, Hello, Mr. McAvan. <laughs> Your time has come. <laughs> Don't like this part. <laughs> Do you need to have the gun pointed oh, right ready? Yeah, already dude. just got it ready. Does he know who he's shooting? Abarama. Abarama. Oh no. What is he going to do? Dude. Well, he has no intention of... Oh, okay. oh, here we go. It's here kinda... we go. Is he gonna fuck it all up though before he even comes on stage? Like it has to be after the fact. I don't think he wants to do anything to get into Barney's way, right? No, 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 no. We gotta set this shit right, Tom. He's trying. Thank you for coming here on this cold, dark night. Is he German? No. I feel like he doesn't have a British accent. He does. And stones and bottles. We deal in reason principle. I don't think he could be German and then Yeah, be in the house. Be in the house, yeah. He 
definitely has some associates in other parts of the world, though. Like, that doesn't... You know what I'm saying? Like, it... Sometimes I think blame sounds... Sam Claflin on that. Huh? I think blame Sam Claflin on that. But of course, not all attending tonight will be convinced of our call. Oh my god. Where's Michael at? This episode has just been absolutely unbelievable. Stressful. It's honestly, it might be m one of my favorite of the whole show. Alright, let's let, uh, Barney take over. Yeah, why are we still waiting? Like, just do it. Bang! We need to shoot him. Yeah, they're letting everyone get all rallied up. No, 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 no. Who were they? I think these I are the know. Jews. Oh, it is, yeah. The rally. They were waiting for the rally, yeah. Abarama. Iso. In the dead of night. I am the darkness, Mr. McAllen. <laughs> oh, no, don't do we this. didn't need a countdown, too. I don't think it's, we're going to see anything. Seven, I don't think the season ends like that, right? Six. Oh, he has a wire. That's like how Arthur almost went that one time. Oh. Who? Michael. Oh no. Yes, Arthur. Has to be Michael. Tommy, get up there and do it yourself. Oh, Rip Abarama. I had a bad feeling about him. Oh, man, Abarama. That's so oh, bad. He was so close to getting the revenge. Arthur was so quick. Did he feel, like, the gun and then just... There's gonna, dude, there's going to be a note there. What the fuck is she doing here? Father got to Barney. Then he went, I think. It was because of... Ben. B Billy. Yeah, but Finn didn't do it on purpose. No, not on purpose, but they literally told him, I know. don't talk to this guy about anything. Like, We're going to go fucking assassinate somebody, dude. Like, idiot. Billy. It was Billy. Found him. Arthur, the man I can't defeat. No, it's not Mosley. Grace. The black horse, bang, goodbye, remember? His dream, yeah. Alfie. Oh. I've seen that before. <laughs> I don't think he did it. That was a very, very good season five finale. I think, I think it, that was the best. Yeah, I think that was my favorite episode yet. Um, it was just so intense the whole time. And now uh, I think it was probably Billy who made the call there at the end after Finn ta uh, told him what's going on. 
But I wonder who came in and assassinated uh, Barney and Abarama. Rest in peace to both of them. Um, I think Michael and Gina definitely did something because they said something about Plan B at the beginning, and then we never saw them for the rest yeah. of the episode. I wouldn't have been surprised if Michael was the one who shot Barney. But uh, that's such betrayal, if that's the case. Well, I think he was planning on betraying Tommy, anyways, because. It, it's just crazy if Michael does it because the betrayal leads to Abarama's death, which is the husband of his mom. It's just like, it's insane from every from every angle when you think about it. I think that Polly's in with Michael though because she did resign too. So I don't know. There's few little people left on um, Tommy's side. And I mean, that was a fantastic finale and I can't wait to see next season. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm really sat satisfied with that episode um had me super anxious for a while like when it was the countdown and stuff i just i knew like something just didn't feel right the whole time um and yeah it wasn't uh didn't happen and that kind of upsets me because like we really saw a preview of like i mean they're just straight up nazis um confirmed i mean it was kind of pretty much confirmed before but just throwing up the the hand signs and whatnot like and some of the stuff they were saying um i don't want to see that anymore i mean that's but like i feel like that is just gonna extend into the whole next season i, I feel like mosley's gonna be the bad guy until like for the rest of the show pretty much there's only one season left i don't see them you know getting rid of him the only thing i could see is if they kill him and then michael is just the bad guy um because Tommy said at the end, like this, he said in this episode, I'm going to keep going until I find a man I can't defeat. And then he was saying at the end, I feel like I might've found the man and he wasn't sure if it was uh, Mosley, but maybe, maybe it's someone else. Maybe it's Michael. I don't know. Um, Definitely not Billy. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm very pumped for season six, the final season. Obviously we have the movie after that that's being filmed, but uh, yeah, what a, what an episode. Yeah, this was just a, a great finale and honestly a really good season all the way through. Um, definitely was probably the most enjoyable season for me to watch at least because this is the first one that I have not seen that we've watched on the channel. So yeah, it was definitely a blast for me, but um, I'm just thinking now, like has, has this show ever ended with Tommy losing? Like has a season ever ended with them um, taking the L? I feel like uh Campbell went on for multiple seasons. He he was, but I I'm pre it was never like they ended the season with a loss completely. And I feel like this was a total and complete loss. Like from every side of things, Tommy got outsmarted and just outwitted, I guess. I, I don't even want to say that because Oswald didn't know anything that was happening, but somebody betrayed him i think it was billy or whatever because we saw him make the phone call but i mean michael and gina like i said also talked about having a plan b i don't trust gina one bit at all i think she's i, I agree with zuff when he said the earlier like another episode that she might know mosley they might already have a connection or maybe she just knows who he is and like wants to to ally with him i, I don't know but um, I really don't like the path that Michael has chosen. Uh, I get it, but at the same time, like this, if he had anything to do with this, it was just absolute betrayal. Um, and there's no coming back from it, I don't think. But uh, also, Alfie Solomons is alive. He came back this episode. I mean, he got shot in the face in season four, so presumably dead. But Tommy knew this whole time, I guess, that he was not dead um reached out to him got him to help out with this big plan he did um i'm just happy that alfie solomons is back in the show i guess i'm hoping that he's in season six because one of the best characters in the show um but yeah just a, a fantastic season might be my favorite season yet of, of peaky blinders definitely my favorite episode of the show so far and just so excited for for the final season if you guys like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description of the patreon the discord and all of our social medias and yeah we'll catch you guys next time for episode one of the final season of peaky bleak out <laughs>